June and July is the time of year British bats have their young. Normally each pup will stay with its mother for several weeks, feeding on her milk and growing until it can fly and fend for itself. Unfortunately this isn't always the case. Baby bats that are left unattended for too long may explore their roost, which sometimes brings them into contact with humans. Their best chance of survival is to be reunited with their mothers. However, this isn't always possible, and where babies have been orphaned or abandoned, bat workers may take them in and hand-rear them. Okay, I've mixed up my Esbalac, which is actually a puppy formula, but it's quite a high-fat milk substitute, and that seems to do the baby bats quite good. I've got seven little pippy stones. They live in this, and, and when I'm going to feed them, I put them all into this little bag with a fleecy lining so that I can get them out one at a time and make sure they all get the same amount of time and effort. So here we go. This is a little boy. And he's quite well grown. Let's see if he's hungry. This year I've had about, I think I've had nine. Two have died, unfortunately. Sometimes they come in and they're already starving and it's very hard to get them back. But the little ones that are um, in fairly good shape do quite well on this milk substitute. In another um, couple of days these big ones will be ready to start flying. And they'll start off in the indoor flight, which is just a mosquito tent. When they're flying confidently in there then we we'll move them to the outdoor flight. It takes them longer to learn everything than it would if they were with the adults because they've got no role models but um, if they do learn if you give them enough time and keep them well fed and then eventually all these seven should be released next is it oops oh that's a lively one right this next one's a different sort of pipistrelle a soprano pipistrelle just the, it's the same size as the as the common pipistrelle, but it's a different species, and it, it's it's calls when it's out navigating are of a higher pitch, which is why it's called the soprano. It's they're not easy to tell apart, but this one's a very typical for its species with the rounded muzzle and the very pinky brown membrane. You get fed about five six times a day. I don't get up through the night. I don't find that necessary. Um, they get fed last thing at night about 11, maybe 12, and then when we get up 7, 8 o'clock. So it, um, it's only for a short period of time, so it's not really um, that onerous. Okay, that's all of them fed. This one's just going in. Back to bed, all nice and sated. And then I put them back in the heated propagator to stay warm until next feed.